What's up guys? Welcome back to MacKite. This is Jake and today we are talking about is it better to learn in lighter winds or heavier winds? <music> Understand this is just my personal experience and being here in Michigan we probably experience more light winds than heavy winds so that's going to impact my answer slightly. My personal thought is light winds is a better environment for learning to kite. I think it's probably easier to learn in heavier winds, but that doesn't necessarily translate to a better learning experience. Let's get into why I think that. So with light winds, I think there's a couple things that give you a slight advantage. One, I think it tends to be a little safer of an environment to learn in. While you often are on a larger kite, uh, it tends to be a slower kite and it's not gonna generate quite as much power if something goes wrong. A lot of times if you panic, you're learning, you're probably not gonna be able to successfully loop that larger size kite. Uh, and I'm thinking, I'm talking probably 14 meters and above when I say larger kite. With a smaller kite in heavier winds, say an eight meter, nine meter, it's a lot easier to jump, kind of lose control, awareness in the sky, accidentally pull the bar not even being aware of what you're doing and all of a sudden that thing loops and you're probably going flying if you're lucky. I just think things happen a lot quicker uh, on smaller kites in heavier winds and that power can really get you into a lot of trouble. I also think with light winds you can learn different skills and you really have to start finessing them. Um, we're in an area where we can self-launch and land and in lighter winds, it takes a lot of finesse to generally get a kite up and down. Well, not so much down, but up and back up off the water once you crash. So by practicing in lighter conditions, you're able to tune those skills in. Uh, I learned to reverse launch in lighter wind conditions, uh, which isn't a skill I necessarily recommend because it's easy to, to just default to that and you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble. But I do think you have a bit more time. Things are a little bit less hectic and you can really fine tune those skills. Uh, in heavier winds when you go down, it tends to be fairly easy to get your kite back up. Um, so you might over have like an overinflated sense of confidence. Um, and then when you find yourself in a bad situation, if you don't fully understand the mechanics of it, it can be a little bit tougher to execute. Likewise, I think it's a safer environment to learn to self-rescue. Whether the wind is high or low, we're all gonna have to self-rescue at one point or another sometimes several times a, a year, month, uh, <laughs> depending on what you're doing. Uh, but you wanna learn that I think on a larger kite or lighter winds where uh, the chances of something going wrong are just way less. You know, worst case scenario in light winds, you can swim up to your kite and probably just paddle it back and slowly. In heavier winds, depending on what's happening on the water, um, that kite can tumble, it can get caught in surf. So again, I think that's a good skill to learn in light winds. Third, when it comes to actually riding, I think light winds allow you to really focus on efficiency. Um, the concepts like apparent wind, when you're really dipping and diving that kite, um, pulling in and out on the bar, building speed, focusing on your body position, board position, uh, you have to think about that a lot more because you're really eking out every little, ex every little bit of extra power that you can. Um, to my earlier point, in heavier winds, I think it's kind of set it and forget it. And that's a really gratifying experience as a new kiter. Um, but again, I just don't think you're gonna come away with the same experience. So maybe you should start by taking a lesson because that's a really safe way to get into it. Uh, then struggle a little bit in light winds, kind of get a sense of the kite, have one high wind session to keep the stoke and confidence high, and then still chase after those light wind sessions um, because they tend to be safer you get to build skills a little bit slower uh, in a more controlled environment, and it helps you a lot with efficiency. So all in all, my vote is going to be um, for kiting in light winds. I think that's the best way to learn. I do understand in some places they are just gifted with heavier winds, and that's awesome. One of the guys who used to work here, Tony, ended up going down to Kitty Hawk to teach, and they used a smaller kite with shorter lines, um, which made the kite a little bit less powerful, a little bit faster, um, but still that was a fairly safe environment to learn in. So again, this is not blanket advice. Personally, I think lighter wins. Uh, at the end of the day, if you're out there kiting when it's windy, that's a win. 
Guys, as always, thanks for checking us out. This has been Jake with MacKite.